It is a time-honored but widely reviled practice in American business. The annual performance review, a rite of corporate passage disliked by employees and managers alike. But after 30 years, this may be the beginning of the end. More and more companies see the practice as out of step with the modern-day workforce. Bob Rossner is a workplace expert and joins us now with more. Good morning. Good morning. I heard someone say this is sort of like Hunger Games for work. And in some way, I think people, that is how they view these performance reviews. What's the history? When did they start? Well, let me answer that question in one year. Are you crazy, an annual review? Given how the workplace moves today, yeah. you've got to be evaluating people on a regular basis. Yeah. Why are these things there? Because bureaucracies start doing something and it's hard for them to stop. They call it the corporate immune system. They resist change. But performance reviews, mark my words, are going down. They're they going are. out. I mean, it's staggering because, I mean, as much as everybody hates this and employees and, and employers as well, I mean, the companies spend a fortune on these things. I, one number we saw was that a company with 10,000 employees can spend as much as $35 million a year on this stuff. Well, the problem is when something gets institutionalized, yeah. it becomes big and it becomes bloated and it loses the point. The annual review, you should be talking to people on a weekly or a biweekly basis. Why this sudden shift, though? Because it seems like this has been a dreaded and hated practice on both ends for a long time, since it started in the 80s with GE. And now they're even saying perhaps it's time to change well, it. Well, Jack Welch did an interesting thing. He took the performance review and put it on steroids by creating stacked ranking. Now, stacked ranking means every employee is rated and you fire the bottom people. Mm -hmm. Let me illustrate this by a movie quote. First prize, a Cadillac Eldorado. Second prize, a set of steak knives third prize, you're fired. Yeah. That's what yeah. companies do. It's insane. It doesn't improve performance. It creates more fear. Right. So this thing has just gone in the total wrong direction. GE brought up the phrase brutal candor. You want some brutal candle, candor, stop doing it this way. Right. Don't do things to people, do it with them. So is there, but is there an attitude shift here going on? And, and what role, if any, do sort of millennial workers play in this? Well, millennial workers don't respond well to command and control. There's an old quote in the military, the generals always fight the last war. Yeah. Command and control is gone. You inspire people, you work with people. And so the millennials are forcing corporations to act differently because they're not responding well to the old command and control mentality. So what are they, because I, I had seen that there are even like apps where they're basically saying there's so much more available real-time assessment of an employee that this could be the direction. What do you see as the future? Because there's still a lot of Fortune 500 companies that are relying on the old system. Well, the future is sitting down with people on a weekly or biweekly basis, talking about what's working, what's not working. Here's a rule for you, five to one. For every one criticism you give people, you have to give five compliments. That's not kumbaya. That's what studies are saying. If you right. want the most productivity, you've got to be supportive of people. If you still have to go to one of these performance reviews, though, what should your strategy be? Beyond prayer? Okay, first thing, <laughs> ask what form is going to be used to evaluate me and ask for that form. Fill out the form and then in the performance review, bring positive emails from customers. Don't be passive, be active in the process and you can make the thing work for you. It's funny, I've always heard five to one, but I heard it the other way. One compliment can go with five <laughs> criticisms. I clearly didn't even know that. That's what happens in those companies. <laughs> no, 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 it's the other way around. That's what actually happens. All right, Bob Rosser, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks.